I want to take you where few dare go, to see, to breathe, to touch souls and know passion, ecstasy, surrender, to love in a place out of all bounds, in a tempest or a dream, in a fever. To love with abandon and let this wave crash down and wash us out to blue violet sea. To love for one moment so completely, so intensely, so madly we will drown in red violet night. This is all. This is everything. Joanna was the perfect model. She was divinely wicked and pure, a cool diamond to pass light through, half baby and half bitch. She was whatever you created, my beauty. So easy to be in each other's arms. And then suddenly it wasn't easy anymore. She met Berman, the painter who lives upstairs. But Berman was chasing a star, and he thought his star might be shining in New York. Only when he told Joanna he was leaving, she became despondent. She wouldn't speak or, or eat, wouldn't get out of bed or get into it. She just lay there on top of the covers. I called the doctor. God, I don't know why. There wasn't anything he could do for her. She was hiding in the underworld waiting for us to come after her. Orpheus could tame the spirits with his lyre. His music, unequaled by the gods, he fell in love with Eurydice. Their love was so great, the gods became jealous. Eurydice was bitten by a snake. <laughs> Eurydice was bitten by a snake and taken to the underworld. Grief-stricken, Orpheus dared what no man had dared before, a journey to the underworld. With his lyre, he charmed Cerberus, the three-headed dog, and was granted passage to see Persephone, the queen of the underworld. She, too, was charmed by his music and permitted him to take Eurydice back to the world of the living, but under one condition, that he not look back at his love until they had departed from the underworld. With Eurydice behind, Orpheus entered the world of light and turned in haste to kiss the love of his life. But Eurydice was still in the shadows, and at his glance, turned to stone and was lost to Orpheus forever. Where is Berman? In the back. She's got herself all twisted into a little box. <laughs> so I've heard. What a mess. Never mind. We'll get through it. In Atlantis, everything was cured by music. When the moon fell into shadow, a little innocent was plunged into darkness and confusion. She thought she had been she know? It was only an illusion. Well, they are called. He couldn't believe you were only 16. 
He said Harper's Bazaar loved all the pictures I took of you. <laughs> I told you you looked good in pearls. Oh, please, say something. Do you think we did something wrong? Is it Berman or... God damn it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. I'm so sorry. Hello? 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 You, you left the door open. No. Do you know where Berman is? He's not here. I'll get him. Perfect. Just perfect. I said he's not here. Well, I... I know how you and Berman love to share. He's going to love being in such demand. Let's wait in the studio. She's just a child. Leona was Berman's wife. It was a strange arrangement. They didn't live together, but they stayed married. He couldn't stand being dependent on her. But, since he couldn't survive on his art, Berman's way out was to become an art forger. Who's there? Me. Come in. Billy is here. What time is it? Five. Where is he? In the studio. You've never seen me do this before, huh? Leona's up there, too. Wonderful. Has the doctor come today? Mm-hmm. He said she's getting worse. I take a piece of each of these, and I create a new one. An original Degas. <laughs> yes, that's what Billy tells them they're buying. God. Since I started painting Joanna, I can't stand doing this. Too bad you didn't stick to just painting her. Let's go. Sorry I kept you waiting. Hello, Leona. That's all right. The line wasn't too long. You're on to something. You think so? Mm-hmm. But it can't be moved in New York. They're more interested in your uh, investment drawings. You are not pushing, you bastard. You haven't worked for two weeks. I'm glad you won't be scratching my back. Shut up, you little bitch. You're being boring, Leona. Let's do our business and I'll be going. Excellent. Do you have the cash for the others? Yes. No problems? Smooth as silk. I even got them off. Get out of here. It's an audition for Hedda Gobbler. Maybe you should come back tomorrow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sure. Your acting's not much, but I love your nerve. Is, um... Is this your idea of independence? I don't want your money anymore. You're a hustler, baby. You will always take it. You are all so brilliant, and I cannot let you throw that away. That has cost me a hell of a lot of money. What line did you use on her? Did you promise her the key to your secret worlds? I'm going to New York. Don't be a fool, darling. You are not as pretty as you used to be. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Oh, well, who the hell are you to pass judgment on me? You are being ugly now. Just leave her out of oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. She enjoys watching. She lives out her fantasies through other people. I know what you want. Oh, get out! I know what an artist is, darling. Does this little girl? Rest in peace, Monsieur Degas. I do love Leona, but I have got to get away from her for a while. When I met her, she even blamed me for her first husband's death. She brought the urn with his ashes and emptied it on the floor. <laughs> I still find little bits of him. How can you laugh? She's right, you know. 
except for one thing. Johanna inspires me. Oh, way Leona never will. Joanna knew I couldn't stay. I always made that clear to her. Because she couldn't support you. Don't you understand? She only wants me so she can get away from you. Oh, I'm not blaming you. Then don't blame yourself. It's not that simple. It's not just about sex. It is just about sex. I don't know what it's about. She doesn't want you. I still want her. Sometimes you have to let go. I'm scared. The show must go on. As Orpheus leaves you from the underworld, here's a strange sound. <laughs> Sirius! <laughs> he panics and turns. Oh, no! Yes, <laughs> but not to worry. You're no fool. You've read the story. You catch his glance in the mirror. Catch. Then you turn it on me. <gasps> the poor queen is turned into granite. We have a surprise for you. I give you what you are to me. The moon. It's not enough. How's the princess? The royal players will indeed be pleased. Being a fool, I see all worlds. I know the end at the beginning. When I saw mortals sharing the love of the gods, Though they weren't gods, I knew at least they were minor royalty.
from such voyeur. When Eurydice heard the music of Orpheus, the world became more enchanting than she had ever realized. You didn't know his music could be the most fatal of poisons. Well, will you dance with me? I don't see the point. How about you? I'm too tired. You fall under a dark spell. But when Orpheus kisses you, you'll wake up. Leave me alone. You're not who I thought you were. I know you're frightened. I've had my eyes open, too. And I survived. So will you. I don't believe in you anymore. You little coward. Do you think you can live in a painting or a photograph? Those images that Monica and I make are not Johanna. They're us. Only you can create Johanna. Do you like playing the Queen of Darkness? Look at yourself. Don't look back, you ready to see? When I made love to you, I saw a white light. You touched something in me, something I thought I had lost. Now I've got to find that place on my own. You're going? Yes. I thought you were the answer for me. But you're not. Have courage. Darling, we do play wonderful games. It hasn't been boring. For New York. Give Alex my love. God, I despise you. You've given her everything. God damn you. Darling, we do play wonderful games. Joanna. It's over. We're alone, aren't we? Yes.
In the calm after the struggle, I saw the moon through the green water, and in that diffused light, I offered her my soul. I would have given her everything. She refused. I think she refused too much. Thank you.